this boat it's the prettiest boat on the dock i like it a lot all right guys stepping down below and i just have to say wow there are actually three big group 8d rely on batteries what's up guys today i'm excited to bring you a tour of an immaculately maintained and ready to sail away bristol 38.8 the condition of this boat really took my breath away and i hope it does the same for you as always, I want to remind you to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these tours and haven't already. That's the best way to support this content, so thank you in advance, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. Alright guys, so I just stepped aboard, and the first thing that I noticed is just, this boat, it's the prettiest boat on the dock. I mean, it's just very well maintained. If you look at the teak, Look at the stainless, look at the Dorade boxes up there. Not an ounce of rust on the stainless, not a bit of worn varnish that I can see. Everything looks like it's been very well maintained and very well loved. And that's something that you wanna see in a used boat that you're looking to buy. So thumbs up for that. Going forward, Taking a look at the coach roof, definitely more than enough ventilation there. We've got four door aids and two opening hatches. We've got inboard shrouds that we will have to walk around, but it's not, not too bad. Teak handrails going forward, nice high lifelines, and a nice wide side deck, so pretty safe going forward. Another thing that I've noticed already is that these decks feel really solid. I mean, it feels like I'm walking on concrete. So a nice big yet shallow bow locker up here. There's gonna be a chain locker down below that that windlass drops into. That's probably accessible from down below. Looking at the bow, look at all of that stainless on the bow there. Big Mantis anchor right there. You can tell that this is a serious cruising vessel. Harkin roller furling head sail. Looking aft, got our foot controls for the windlass right there. Just a very pretty boat. I like it a lot. The decks look like they're in awesome shape. We've got good tread on the non-skid and I don't see any crazing on the paint anywhere so far. I really like these stainless opening port lights and ports to the aft there. They look really awesome and you know they're high quality obviously. Taking a look at the rig, you wouldn't be able to tell from here, but the mast is actually carbon fiber. Double spreader, main mast, sloop rigged. Got that Doyle stack pack for the mainsail. All lines leading into the aft cockpit there for easy single or short handing. Nice long Genoa tracks right here. Our main sheet is forward of the cockpit. I like that for safety, it keeps it out of the way. And then there is a dodger and a bimini to give you protection when you're in the cockpit. Continuing aft. And then just looking up real quick, there is a radar on the back stay right there with a couple extra instruments. I like that a lot, that's a good position for that nice and high and out of the way of the sails stepping into the cockpit again you guys can see this boat is well loved you know just nice upholstery all around looking at the stern got a stern ladder right there so you can get in and out of the boat this is interesting to me so this looks like it might be a backstay tensioner right here and then obviously we saw it from the other angle but there's your backstay and radar on this extrusion right here. I'm looking at the cockpit. So, not the biggest cockpit. We're going to go ahead and take a look at, you know, the cockpit storage. So right here on the starboard side, I've lifted up the, the cushions. You've got a decent amount of storage right here. This is above where the quarter berth is down below, so you're not going to get crazy amount of storage, but propane locker lifting up the aft lazarette back here behind the helm you've got your manual bilge pump and your access to the emergency tiller back here 
and you know maybe a little bit of storage if you want to use it that way and then finally the port side lazarette right here is nice and big got a lot of storage right there and then there's going to be some Victron components on this boat. I see an inverter charger right there. So this boat's definitely gonna be technologically advanced and I like to see that. All right, and there we have it guys. That's the cockpit. Winches on the sides there. They are actually electric winches, so very nice. And then all lines leading to the cockpit. Winches up top there on the coach roof and then our instruments right there and our big Garmin chart plotter at the helm right here. So very nice. Good visibility from the cockpit and under the protection of the Bimini and the Dodger let's go ahead and go down below all right guys stepping down below and I just have to say wow I mean just look at this just look around do a little 360 here just a beautifully beautifully well-maintained boat I'm gonna start by going forward and we're gonna make our way back so going through the salon here we're gonna go right up to the main cabin which is in the forward section of the boat right here and I don't know if I'd call this a v-berth it's kind of a Pullman style right here but you got a nice big double berth up here very very cozy two people can share this cabin comfortably it looks like there's also a section up here that could potentially maybe be put right here to make the bed bigger if you wanted to. But I like this setup. I like having the little bench right here. And then you've got storage just, you know, all around. This is definitely meant to be a cruising boat. In the V-berth, if you close this door, there is also another little vanity right here, which is kind of cool. I'm sure you guys can hear that. There is an air conditioner on this boat, so that's also really nice. So just a good cozy forward cabin up here again all of the woodwork is in excellent excellent condition and then support right here is the main head and the main head right here has a shower inside I don't know if I'd consider it a separate shower but it is a really big wet head and it's kind of a separate shower there's also another door that goes in here so you can access this head from either in the forward cabin like that or either in the main salon so I mean you could separate that section so I would consider that a separate shower because you can create two sections of the head sink area and the shower slash toilet area and coming aft there is kind of a bar area right here just more storage really AC vent right there. We're going to go ahead and turn aft. I'm looking at port right here. Huge, huge opening ports all the way around, which is really nice in a tropical environment. And just not an ounce of water damage that I can see anywhere just brilliantly maintained woodwork down here it's just so comfortable feeling and they've done a really good job decorating too more storage behind the settee there and then another settee on the starboard side looks like there's a Bose sound system on this boat as well an opening salon table right there so you can see Probably like six six or so people comfortably and then nice little nook style galley right here I'm sure you can set something up right here that you can lean against while you're at sea but you've got a gimbal stove right there 
sink, double sink, storage behind the counters there, and then your cold storage. Tons of cold storage, actually. There's a lot, a lot of room in there. Storage on the counter. This is solid surface. Solid surface counter, nice high fiddle. I like to see that. And then turn and aft on the starboard side right here. There is a quarter berth, so a place for guests to sleep or to sleep while you're underway. Not a full cabin, but it also is a quarter berth that runs right into a nice big nav station right here with tons of storage in the table for odds and ends and charts and right here as you guys can see there is a Victron energy system on this boat battery monitor there's a really good amount of lithium batteries on the boat so plenty of power for whatever you need and you've got AC outlets throughout which is really nice so really good power station for whatever you want while you're cruising so our main distribution panel is up here above the nav station. One thing I'm noticing right here is, look at this. You've got these thick stainless steel backing plates for all of your hardware and everything's accessible from down below. Look at that, everything's accessible. It's not hidden away behind a headliner, which is awesome. I absolutely love that. And it looks nice because it's nice stainless steel finished nicely but it's also still accessible which is really important for a cruising boat so I just wanted to say the cabin sole is just in incredible shape and below that cabin sole is going to be your tankage and access to your tankage right here there's a few access panels throughout the boat and then your engine can be below the stairs right there and we're gonna take a look right now all right and then that opens up just like that and you've got your Volvo diesel down below right there so kind of squeeze in there so engine access is not the best but I imagine you can access it through the quarter berth as well or through the lazarette up there all right guys and then below the quarter berth I just want to show you there are actually three big group 8d rely on batteries down here so just tons and tons of power on this boat really nice all right guys it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to start
what can I say, guys? This is a great boat. She's the prettiest one at the dock, and she's ready to sail away. This is definitely a great boat for a couple, and I think her next owners are going to be very happy with her. That's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it